with your eyes. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews here tonight with P Paul of P-Bay Brew News, the Squatch himself. We've got Matt from Massive Beer News. We've got Guy sitting in the background. We've got Chad. We have uh, Punter and Puntet, which uh, I, I don't know if they're sticking around for the beer or not, but we're going to take, take a look at a beer that I've had for about a year now that I've been planning to bring up to this year's fest. We're going to take a look at something named after probably something we've been seeing all week from this Thor's Hammer, watch. baby. We're going to take a look at Thor's Hammer from Central City Brewing in BC. These are the same people that make Red Racer IPA. Ah, oh, really? So, yeah, this is the Nova same Scotia, company. Right? British, 11, British Columbia? Uh, BC, yeah, British Columbia. British, British Columbia. So this is 11.5% ABV. Uh, barley wine. This is our limited edition bottle condition Thor's Hammer. It's matured for almost one full year. Mahogany in color. This award-winning barley wine is crafted from fine barley malt and excluding deep, rich notes of dried fruit blah 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 decant remove the sediment or, or lees uh we've already removed lees this year uh enjoy lightly chilled or now or sell it for five years or more i've actually had this for the last year Wax, this, stop, came this whole weekend had lee removed yeah this whole weekend had lee removed so Anytime, we, would, we yeah. have not had a beer on lees all week yeah as long as that uh, uh maritama is review uh from the, the review it is a better review uh you need a knife baby something you make knife a knife yeah let's see here we don't have knives we're from america they took all our knives away we don't and have said, knives we got we guns right. yeah, we have right. guns well they took the guns away too she said you don't have the right to carry this what are you doing this is canada the home of paper money what are you doing paper money paper plastic, plastic money and kilometers these are keys yeah. or use the, the end Whose of keys the are those? I use the car, the cock, the cork screw opener. The cock screw? The cock screw? She meant the pointy tip. Fuck, 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 fuck. Well, why don't you talk about the brewery, alright? All right. Just, just yeah, talk about it. Talk boys. about the brewery, baby. You haven't, Paul. You've been touching your penis with that hand. Yeah, that's right, I forgot. Yeah. Talk about the brewery. What about this brewery? Central Racer IPA, what else did they make? Uh, well, Red Racer IPA, um, most of their products are like Red Racer. There's one more, I can't remember what the name of it is. I'm pretty sure I had something by them that was also not called uh, uh Do they have Red a pretty, Racer. pretty big, big distribution, I'd have to assume, to get all the way to you? Well, you know what? We've been getting a lot of Central City products, but I don't think they come to Ontario, do they? Central City? Uh, well, other than Red does. Racer. Session, the Session IPA does in kegs, and one other does in kegs. <laughs> Almost there, baby. I did Almost right there, baby. Box, right <laughs> that's not the box. That's my floor. <laughs> what did they do to me, baby? <laughs> what did they do? <laughs> So what all right, you say right, about, we gotta uh, fire, figure something out. What is actually these. the most produced? Uh, what right, is actually the most distributed beer uh, from this? Company? I just got it on the edge. Oh, there. You got it on the edge? Oh no, give me that one. That would be better. <laughs> what is that'll the actually, I think that'll get in. So you were gonna be laughing City? his ass off when he sees this. What? Uh, what? Bre oh, what? What? Oh, actual, that's only progress. Hey, hey Nick. Hey, Nick. What? Uh, what? What brew is actually most distributed from this brewery? Red, Red Racer IPA. That's the most. Famous. That's the most famous beer from that brewery. All right, keep it out. Keep it out, guys. Well, Red Racer IPA is a delicious IPA. One of the I've best. never had it. One of the best, you know, standardly available IPAs from Canada, I find. Little I really like that beer. Hmm. The Little Innocent Gun? Yeah. And of course, there's what, ease what, for that. What is this beer? Just the barley wine? Thor's Hammer Barley Wine from uh, BC. Age a year in house. It right? almost, yeah. the, um, a, uh, Matt, uh, the, uh, um, alcohol, it's almost coming off as a slight barrel age because it's so it's a little boozy. Um, it's, it's definitely American. It's not English. It, I, I don't I mean like if you if you smell it, you could almost get like a little brandy, a little bit something yeah, off it's, that. It's it not, smells like it's a really malt, barrel -aged. crazy huge malt oh. backbone American barley wine that's been aged. It, it doesn't sound like an smell. Yeah, like yeah it smells aged. Sound. It smells aged to me. Well, I mean, I had it in the cellar for a year. What's the ABV? Lemon. Uh, 11.2 it was in-house for a year right. and then cellared for a year right they said uh, a yeah. year on it in in-house for a year and then well after i don't bottled. think the alcohol has really subsided as far as the smell goes i think mm -hmm. i mean it almost smells like a brandy barrel age 
um, barley wine. It has that like acetyl, uh, the, the ethanol alcohol kind of coming up as a floor. To me, it's booze, just you know? a huge yeah, a malt floor floor forward barley wine with uh, that was hop forward at one point. Yeah, those um, those notes of alcohol mm, come up a little bit like more of a fruit. Any note. any sort any sense of hops in this one? It might have had more of the West Coast style hops, but they were kind of faded over the years. Yeah, yeah like a the, remnant, the, a ghost. The alcohol of the hop, is kind of yeah. the the alcohol is filling those hollow notes up with more like fruit. Um, the alcohol. I think the hollow notes went with John and Oates. Hollow notes? Or maybe. Oh, they but, were. Well, those people, notes, yeah, but those people uh, are a little out of touch, yeah. right? The road. Or maybe like the Commodores, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Lano, Let's dive in. You know what? All dude, I know dude, is Lionel Origin hasn't been black since the Commodores. I can't go for that. <laughs> See? He, he, he's doing it on purpose now. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Mmm. I like that. Yeah, it's nice. See, that's kind really, of really, really smooth. Really like that. And I'll tell you, when I first, like, I had a, a, another bottle of it last year. Just, I think I was shooting the shit with everybody on Beer Geeks, Beer Dweebs United, and it was really sweet. It was overwhelmingly sweet, but the, the extra one year has really mellowed this out. And it, I'll go totally opposite. Like tonight, I think I've been like actually acquiescing towards newer stuff. I think in about three more years, this would be fucking cash money. Way to return to form, brother. No, seriously. <laughs> like, I think age, this is a beer that is meant to be aged. Yeah. No, I'm going to agree with that. Actually, this is something that probably could have aged a little longer than this and brought but it's, it up. it's delicious now. It, it is delicious. I, would, like, I actually would have wished I would have tried it a little bit sweeter, too. To get the, now, the, those the, hops the, have kind of faded into, a, like, an earthy, resiny kind of, like, a little bit on the back. Not much. Have and any other of you tried that, that nice, fresh? like, toffee... Have you tried the like super fresh? Roast, like roast, like a little bit of sweet malt. It's caramel. a, su it's a, it's a uh, super sweet, like caramel molasses with like mm. a little bit drying, but I think if you actually age it longer, you'd get more raisin. Yeah. More raisin, mm. more chocolate. Like that raisin that he yeah, that that I love toffee. it even here. And I think it would just kind of balance that out. That classic date, big toffee kind yeah. of milk. Yeah. But I would have right really awesome. liked to try There is still this quite fresh. a bit of sweetness in it, but you should have had it last year. It was really like, sweet. Because I bought two bottles at the same time. It's almost like it's just a, uh, just like a roasted caramel. Yeah. Mm. Like the, the hops are almost like a ghost of the hop. It's yeah. not there, but, but he knew it was like there. They're, they're, I'm actually going to have to get a tattoo of this. Almost <laughs> like a, well, if you want to take the bottle I'm going to get a tattoo of the like hops. A, take, take, the, take the bottle with you, man. Right here. Caramel, like it's going to be all up here. Yeah, like sometimes like with hops, even with me, I know with like coffee and hops, sometimes they mix up coffee bitterness with hop bitterness. It's almost like well, something the like that. With the astringent tannic bitterness of the roast, you know, things like that. All right, so what's everybody I, I, else? I think this is good, but the thing is, if uh, did they barrel age this? I no. have no idea if they barrel age. They <clears> might. If you're going to take the time to wax top it, barrel age it. Mm. Brandy mm. barrel age or something? Yeah, come no. on. Here's um, the thing. Barrel aging is kind of a rarity in Canada. See, it's, I think, it's like really only breweries in Ontario that do that thing on, on a larger scale. Well, that's kind of funny because the craft beer wasteland and barrel ages stuff, and you need to do it the, as know. a whole scale. Okay. I will, what, what do you say there, Rhino? I like it. It's smooth. It's easy drinking. I'd give it an eight. Give it's it an a eight. Little beer. Okay. Gee. Seven point four. Seven point four. Paul. It's not that smooth for the age that's on it and stuff like that. Neither are you. Yeah. Huh? Neither are you. No, I'm not smooth not at all. Smooth. I can't get laid. Whatever I do. <laughs> uh, but smooth, it's but very enjoyable. Work. I do like it. Mm -hmm. Um, I've had different barley wines from different styles. I think obviously, like Matt said, this is an American barley wine, mm -hmm. and um. The hops have found that muddled point in life where they don't, they don't give a lot. They just give this like a muddled earthiness and the hops start taking over. I think this could actually use more age to get really the sense of what it's supposed hmm. to be because now the hops have faded. You've ruined the hops. Yeah. Well, it's still really nice. And I'm gonna I hate, hate you. I'm, um, you. Basically, like the hops at this point in time have they've played their part. They, they, they are very nice. They're very muddled, earthy. I think it, now it's time for the hot for the malts to really like play their game, really show. You know, the, it's what they it's have really to tough to compare score. with the last year because last they could year's use was really sweet. And they're a bit thin. Compared What's to last score, fuck. Um, I give it like an eight point five. Eight, maybe eight. eight. I don't okay. like it. It's an eight point five. Fuck. <laughs> I don't like it. It's not a nine. I, I, I didn't I'm, get I'm, a nine. I, I, look, I'm I would, sorry. It's not I cut and dry. Okay. I, Nick Talk likes a cut like and dry. Seconds. He's gonna get upset now. If he would stop talking, you can talk. He's gonna get really upset. Absolutely opposite of you. I think this. I think wax age stuff or wax bottles should not be barrel aged because I think barrel aged stuff isn't conducive to aging. I don't because there's too many moving yeah, parts. It, like, I think wax your, your I don't traditional think English old ale stuff like that should be aged or your 
Wee Heavies or Barley Wine should be aged that are not barrel aged because you have too many moving parts, too many Matt and I factors are into it. Yeah, well, but, so, so do, this do. to me is a beautiful ageable beer. I think it could age great. Right now, I would give this a 9 2. Oh, wow. Nice. For me. And I think it'll age into the top 90s. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I like, yeah, I love two. this my, beer. My experience three, comes. Two. Will you shut up? Uh, my experience with this I one love comes with the. Nick off. It's so easy. <laughs> It's so My easy. experience coming through this one comes from the fact I had it last year. It was really overwhelmingly sweet. But it was still, you know, I thought something that might, you know, smooth out in the year. And it did. There was a little bit of like grapefruit hops coming off of it last year. This time I'm not getting that. And it's kind of mellowed out and you start getting more of the caramel flavors. Do you think but will... he's right in the fact that you could have uh, you could have aged it for a year. Or, yeah. Yeah, uh, well, do you yeah, think it would a little progress? Bit it would progress. Because, I mean, if, I think that it's gotten better than last year. How but it would the, be even better next how year. How is the malt body when it was fresh? Sure. Pretty firm, very like, fir like firm as yeah. you know, well, sweet. That, yeah, like, really sweet. Yes, yeah. it was very firm. Well, so that's, this, and yeah. that's the thing. You have that. Yeah, that, it's an American barley wine, so it's yeah. huge hop forward, and then you had this overly sweetness. So yeah, you're talking about a preservative with a catalyst. You yeah, know what I mean, exactly. so it's gonna it's yeah. gonna get it's bigger gonna and bigger. Get, it's gonna so work. Your hops well, are gonna die. That sugars well are gonna build. Yeah. your toffee. That's that's the beautiful part. So when you look at it as a barley wine, though. Doesn't have a lot of the like the fruit notes. It's mainly just big caramel. It's old. It's an English old ale. It's not a barley wine. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say that touching on what you were saying earlier with the wax topping when you were arguing with that man right there. Yeah, the I, with all the moving parts on barrel aging, barrel aging really shouldn't be aged because every barrel has a very good chance of being infected, and the longer those mm. sit, that's when you start getting your vinegar and sour beers. Yeah, upwards. and that's the thing. Like I talk about, I love old beers. So like my old beers are bottle condition, like non barrel aged beers, like. Yeah. Like, and that's, like, when I talk to people about, like, barrel aging stuff, it's not, it's like, oh, I got this thing that's barrel aging. And be like, well, it's delicious. Enjoy it for a year or two. Like, even a Solero method stuff that has a couple of years on it. Um, like, go oh, two years. That's great. But if you're talking about long haul shit, like J.W. Lee's, Thomas Hardy, Old Stock, that's just non barrel aged stuff. You're talking about it. 10 to 15 year beers you're not going to do that with a barrel aged beer because you're going to have so many organic pieces bacteria yeah. so many moving parts well, totally it's a machine if you have two moving parts the chances of it breaking down down are little Darn. to none if you have 17 moving parts it's going to break uh, chances are it I'm might really break down that and that's where barrel mentioned. aging it's nice it's like almost like an accelerator you yeah. want to accelerate age that's what barrel aging that ba barrel is. Age is, it like walks it off so, I'm yeah. really glad that Nick here mentioned that the fact that uh, let's let's uh, break it down, baby. I'm really glad that Nick mentioned that they, they had a really firm malt base to start with because mm -hmm. that's what we really want to know. How was this beer fresh? Yeah. And the firmer the malt base, and that's what I find. Um, I want to don't want to you know go too crazy on there. Yeah. But the Sorry. firmer the malt base, the better it'll age. So this has a firmer malt base. Maybe it will stand the time a little bit better mm. than others. Because there were there was a lot of sugar to it. A lot of year. sugar to it. A lot of stuff. And that'll give it time. It'll give it a chance to age a little, chance to grow. Because maybe next year, next year, the other year, the next year, maybe it'll be a little bit better. But right now, I'm probably gonna give it like an 8.5. I, I it's good, but uh, I think I think personally. I think the malts can grow a little bit because those hops can die down a bit. If I actually had this two years ago, I think I'd give it like a 9.5 because the hops would be so apparent. You get that more in that, well, let's look at uh, selection, that little stylized guidelines. So the American barley wine. The American barley wine would be yeah. hop forward, right? Yeah. It would fit a little bit better in that category because you can tell there's hops crazy in this. Well, well I mean, that's, I mean, really. Central City is really known for their hop beers. Yeah. So okay. these guys said to have hops in it, not a See, big surprise. We can use Matt as like but a, a, a the Nick, ho Nick. The hops have Matt really mellowed out in this As one. a guideline because we don't know Central City. Hmm. You're going to teach us about this. This is, yeah. is yeah. one of the most God damn beers Americans. Beers don't know nothing. Oh, like, 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 uh, I, like I this love is, the like, label. So if I had a, access to this and this was, let, let's say, $8 a bottle, yeah. I would take six of these home. And I wouldn't drink them for about five oh, years. I think it was like ten. Like months. this is like the first <laughs> yeah. beer I had here. Yeah. Not that I cracked a bunch of Canadian stuff, but that's this a is really the first big compliment, I've had. Nick. Because well, I would do the same thing. I would take six of these home and I drink them one a year. Wow, that's that's really cool. Yeah. See, absolutely. I, I gotta say that you know, it's for when you rated it based on the fact it's a barley wine. I find that maybe it's a little lacking in the carrot, like in the the raisiny, fruity. You kind of expect to have a little of that, but it's still a really well done beer. And the aging process is really only. Is, is done but better. Uh, my personal thought on this, 
Uh, four two five out of five. Um, I think I, five. I think I'm being a little bit skewed because, as a person that's like a age Hipster. junkie, I, I think I sometimes rate a beer based on what I think it's going to be. If that makes any sense. No, that's okay. that's perfect. And I get a little bit like blinders on, be like, oh my god, I like this now, but I, I know what it's going to be. So based like, on how I, it is I know Nick. Yeah. No, I know no, Nick. I'm not. But I'm rating nine rating. nine two. I, I, when I say yeah, nine two nine. I don't want to piss off Nick. I think this will be a nine seven. I don't want to piss off Nick. So I'm super excited about having this. I know Nick doesn't like long reviews. I'm sorry about that, Nick. But like. <laughs> you, you're you're a, you're a, a music junkie, right? Well, not I'm not into metal like you are. Or well, music in general. Yeah, okay. I can see what music can be can Rush. become. Rush. And, this, <laughs> and the same thing. My wife can listen to the same track and go, I have nothing. I get nothing. You. But I can see what's going on behind the lines. I can see what it can become better. Uh, this we can't better that. Drink anymore. He doesn't shut up. This. Yeah. You know, oh, this, this, we, we should this just, actually do this. The, the thing we is, should just stop the review while he's still talking. Keep talking, Paul. No, five. Five out of ten. <laughs> five out of ten? Yeah, if you don't want to shut down, fuck you. Five out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> you need to find it right now, right, buddy. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> five out of ten. I'll just shut up right now. Holy fuck, that one.